Hello, hello, hello. It's me again. Um, been running some errands and doing some few things that I needed to get done. And uh, I told you that earlier today that I would be doing another uh, Facebook Live. And um, I do have my YouTube channel. Uh, and it's up and going. And I'm getting some subscribers. And I am going to be transferring everything that I do on Facebook Live over to YouTube, trying to make that my primary channel. Um, so anyway, I just uh, wanted to come back tonight, and I had told y'all earlier that I was going to be doing um, or talking about things that um, I can't live without. And it's, it's of course, it's not family and God and things like that. That goes without saying, right? But I did want to preface that. But um, what I'm talking about are things that are in my daily routine. Um, when I'm getting ready or uh, my beauty regimen or things that just um, I feel are very important. They're kind of like my go-to products. Uh, things that I've been using for a while that really um, have impressed me or I feel like uh, are working. Um, and that are really beneficial to me. Um, and so I'm going to go over a few and, uh, you know, I want to preface this also by saying that I am a unique presenter and I have just started in unique. I am still learning about unique. Uh, I have been in cosmetics and in the beauty field for many, many years, but with every product, um, there's different things that you have to learn about those products. So I'm still in the learning phase of unique. I can say that I am completely happy with everything that I've tried, um, other than the the uh, lash, the 3D lash, you know, mascara, uh, itching my eyes. I've been totally happy with everything. Um, and you know, um, even though you may use Unique and uh, you may even sell a product, there's always other products from other lines that you you use, and that's okay. And there'll be some products that I will never quit using, even though I am a unique presenter, and they do come from other lines. So I just want to say that I'm, I'm not here to push one particular product. I am a unique presenter. I love unique. I'm getting to like it more and more every day. Peyton, hey, buddy. Uh, my grandson is watching. Aw, hey, buddy. I missed you this weekend. Sure wished you could have come up and been with me. Uh, love you, Peyton. How sweet. Um, hey, Darlene's fan. Uh, Kiki said hey. <laughs> so anyway, I wanted to go over with you some things that uh, coming from Darlene's table. Some things that over the years that I have found that are just really kind of things that I just can't live without. I love you too, Peyton. Love you very much. I'm going to see you uh, next, this coming weekend. I'm coming up Friday, so I'll see you Friday, okay? And uh, I'll talk to you later about that, but I'm going to come Friday. So I'll be in town for a, a day or two, and I'll, I'll spend some time with you, buddy. Hey, Jane Stamper. Hey, girlfriend. Another good school buddy of mine. Um, but anyway, what I'm talking about is things I can't live without. And... Of course, if I was stranded on a desert island and I had to live without these products, I would survive. <laughs> I would make it and I would live. But these are just things that over the years that I have come to kind of rely on and uh, really, really used all, every day, um, pretty much. So what I'm going to first start out with is just saying that, you know, I was talking about earlier about how important it is to have a good skincare regimen. And doesn't matter what kind of skincare products you use. Um, find what's right for you. Find what works for you. Find what you like. And just stay consistent with it. That's the main thing. And you can't use it a day or two and then go without using it. And, you know, you got to be consistent with it. And the one thing that I was saying was never go to bed with your makeup on. And um, I just can't sleep in my makeup. I mean, I, it, I just feel like my face is dirty and I just can't sleep. So, one of the things that I just love um, is one of these little headband turbans. Uh, because I have long hair and because my hair is in, around my face, 
Um, when I wash my face at night, I love using this thing. I just put it around my head, pull my hair back, gets my hair back off my face so that I can wash my face good. And I have really come to really lo love this thing. I've got several and they wear out. Um, but, you know, it's just a, it's a Velcro little headband that you just put around your head and uh, keeps your hair back. And I use it sometimes when my hair's wet and I'm doing my face or I'm doing a facial mask. You know how when you put the charcoal mask on, and I love uh, Unique's charcoal mask. I love that. But when you're putting on a mask or something and you don't want your hair to get down in the mask, something like this is wonderful for that. And uh, so I love that. Uh, if you haven't tried it, you can try it. Some people just use a headband or whatever, but whatever works for you. But some way to keep your hair out of your eyes. But I really love this little this little headband turban thing. Talking about cleansing my face, this right here is something. It's all my eye makeup remover pads, and it's the one that has the oil in it. This will remove anything. It will remove uh, waterproof mascara, waterproof makeup, um, it's a little oily, but I prefer that because I like to have oil in my skin. And then what I do is I take this and I just wipe my, my eye makeup off, my mascara or whatever. And then I go back and I cleanse my face. So I like the oil uh, better than the dry pads. They have both. But I just love these. These are my go-to. Um, I clean some of my makeup products with it. It's just a good weight, a wipe to cleanse your, and it, it will get that makeup off of anything. And um, I always get the larger, they have a smaller one, but I always get the larger one, and I buy this one at Walmart. Now, Walgreens carries it, but it's by Alme. And uh, just the eye makeup remover pads, and these work wonderful. Uh, if you like um, the waterproof mascaras and things like that. Thank you, Jane. Thank you, I appreciate that. This is a new venture. Uh, being in makeup's always been a passion of mine, but getting to share it with all of y'all is just fun. And uh, I have a lot of people um, contact me and message me and saying, you know, you're inspiring me again, and and I've never really known how to put on makeup, and so that's why I'm doing it. Um, it's really just to kind of tell you over the years things that I found that work. Hey, Vicki Kimball, hey, sweet friend to you. Thank you for always being my, my fan and my encourager. You're so awesome at that. appreciate that. Everybody needs an encourager, and you sure have been for me. Um, so anyway, you know, um, I just love these because, you know, and like I said, I use them on everything, and, and they leave you a little greasy, but I always go back after that, and I wash my face. And in talking about that, you know, I told you that um, I can't live with my, without my exfoliator. Uh, my exfoliant and this unique royalty pure uh, purifying cleanser is is great I just started using it I've always used an exfoliator um, I exfoliate my skin in the mornings uh, when I wake up I don't use the exfoliating wash at night but I use it in the morning when I first wake up to wash my face and I have been using this since I got this and like I said I don't have all of Unique's products yet um, I haven't been able to afford to get them. I've gotten what I can. I've got some other things ordered, and as I can, I'm going to try to get in on in to their skincare as well. I do have a few things, and I have really come to really like this. It's a gentle exfoliator, and I really do like it. So, you know, if you've heard me talk about my beauty regimen or my skincare regimen, I don't really call it skincare. Um, this is one thing that I do every morning is exfoliate, okay? You're right, Vicki. God does not make junk. We're all proof of that, aren't we? And, you know, I always said that at night when I cleanse my face and I get ready for bed, I always use a thicker um, serum. And I love this unique royalty. Uh, it's the Light um, Beauty Serum. It's a serum lift, and it comes with a dropper. And it's a little thicker, but it's an oil, kind of an oil. And I love putting that on my face, especially under my eyes and around my mouth. I love this. And serums are different than your moisturizers. So get you a good serum. Um, it goes down in your skin. It needs to be, go you need to put your serum on first and then your moisturizer. And 
since I said I don't have Unique's full skincare line, but what I've been using is the number seven. I use my daytime and my nighttime. Uh, it's a day cream and my night cream. And that's just what it is. I, at night, I use my serum, and then I put this on top of it. And then in the daytime, I don't use the serum because it's a little heavier, but I do use this. And uh, I just love this. It does have an SPF in it, 15. Um, so I, I really like this, number seven. I like their line. Um, so I've been using that for quite some time, but as soon as I can, I'm going to order um, the rest of the skincare line from Unique. Hey, Candy Holmes. Um, another thing that I have uh, introduced to y'all the other day on one of my videos, if you saw it, and this is a facial razor. And uh, if any of you have facial fuzz or anything like that, what I do is I'll wash my face and wherever you have hair or facial fuzz or whatever, and I have a lot right in here because I have hair that grows down in here. And so I will take this and I will do that and I will do around my face and wherever I have a little, you know, if you have whatever, but it's great. It's just a facial shaver. I order it from Amazon. Um, I keep them on hand. Uh, I think I order like six at a time and I keep them on hand and I keep, keep one in every place. I've got one in my bathroom. I've got one in my cosmetics bag. I have a bag that I always kind of keep half packed for when I'm going out of town and this is in one of those because I don't want to forget this I love this thing it's great you can shave your mustache and shave here and if you got peach fuzz or chin hair or whatever just saying but it's great uh, people say you shave your face sometimes thank you candy you're so sweet well you know I love sharing what little I know I don't claim to be an expert but I have been in the cosmetics field for quite some time and I just have found things that work for me and I love sharing that, you know. Um, I love watching videos on beauty tips and things like that because we can all learn from other people. Um, another thing, talking about, since we're in that line, beauty regimen, I've got some other things over here as well. This is something that um, I had been reading about um, reading the reviews, uh, and then my uh, niece started using this, and she posted pictures on Facebook of before and after of her teeth after she started using this, and wow, what a difference after like a, just a couple of weeks. So I ordered my husband and I some, and we've been using this for about uh, three weeks, I guess, and I can say that I can tell a difference in my teeth I'm just saying and this is what it is it's called AP 24 it's by new skin and it's a whitening fluoride toothpaste and I've used all kind of bleaching strips and everything I am a real I love pretty white teeth I just think teeth are you know when you see someone smile and they got those beautiful teeth I remember my granddaughter and I were sitting at a restaurant one day eating it together and she said look at that guy's teeth over there at that table and I looked and they were just perfectly straight and so white and uh, we both said wow isn't that pretty so anyway I've always been one that loves pretty pretty white teeth and I drink a lot of coffee and things like that I'm a coffee drinker and so I have to really try hard to keep the uh, stains from the coffee and the caffeine off my teeth and so this works I'm just saying if you're looking for a tooth whitener um, and you can order this either from new skin or I think uh, Amazon has it too I'm I, you know I'm kind of worried sometimes that it's the right product when you order but anyway if it's by new skin um, and it's AP 24 and what it, the directions just says use after eating um, so it says brush at least twice a day, but after every meal. So I have been using it probably going on now a month, and my teeth have whitened up. I'm just telling you because I was really getting some some stain on from the coffee and stuff. And man, I thought, oh, my teeth are getting stained. 
And I started using this after I read because I was looking for a tooth whitener. And I just have to say that this stuff really works. I've seen a big difference. And Randy says he can too. So if you're looking for something and you want to try this, I would recommend it. Uh, I've tried it. My niece tried it. She loved it. Um, several people that uh, now that I know that I've referred to have tried it. They are having good results with it. So, hey, it's not real expensive. It's more than toothpaste, but I've seen a lot more of the tooth whitening things are a lot more expensive than this one. So, this might be something that you may want to try if you are interested in a tooth whitener. Now, kind of getting also into the beauty regimen, you know, I, after you bathe or you shower or whatever, uh, and I love a bath, I'm just going to tell you. There are times I like a shower, um, but I love my bubble bath, and I do put my bubble bath in there. Uh, and I try different kinds of bubble bath, but after I get out, of course, I put on lotion. And this is one that I started using, I don't know, probably four or five months ago. Uh, I've tried all kinds. I go to Bath and Body Works and I try, I've tried all kinds of body lotions and moisturizers, Gold Bond. I've tried everything. My skin is really dry and uh, with the wrinkles and everything else. And so I need some moisturizer. And I started using this and I really like it. Um, if you can see it, it's called, um, it's by Malibu and it's called Hemp moisturizing body lotion and it's for dry skin and it just comes in a pump and uh, I really really like it it has a it has just a kind of a clean smell um, it just it smells good um, and I don't know if this has a particular no it doesn't have like a particular uh, scent to it. it doesn't say like coconut or anything but it's got just that I don't know, just that good clean smell and it's not greasy. Uh, some some body creams and lotions are so greasy that they get on my sheets and everything when I get in bed. And I don't like that. Uh, and like if I put lotion on my legs and I start to get out and put on my jeans or my pants and my pants are sticking to my legs and all that, it's like, whoa. This it's good and it feels great, but it's not greasy and it's not just sticky. And so I really, really like this and I will, I will continue to use this. And it's, it's not badly priced. I think it was like $9.97 or something. I mean, it's cheaper than uh, Bath and Body Works, which is what, 12 or $14. And then talking of kind of going along with that is when I, get up in the mornings and I get ready um, I usually go to the Y in the mornings and I take my my classes because I have really bad arthritis and if I don't go and take my classes to kind of limber me up and keep me going I get really stiff and it's it's not good so I go to the Y um, every morning that I can and um, I, when I get up I know I'm going to be sweating and I know I'm going to be exercising but I don't want to put on my nice colognes or perfumes to go to the Y, but I want to smell good and I want to smell clean. And usually I take my baths uh, at night. So I get up in the morning and I do my beauty routine and I get ready to go. And what I do is I like to spray on just a body spray, not a perfume or a cologne. Put on my deodorant and spray on a body spray. Now I've tried, I've tried a lot. There's some by Victoria's Secret that I really like. But I found this one probably um, about a month ago. I was looking for something and I had ran out of my Bath and Body Works spray that I'd got, I had gotten for Christmas. And uh, I found this one at Walmart. I sprayed it and I really liked it. Um, and this is um, called Ultra Pink and it's by Mariah Carey. And um, it's a fine fragrance mist perfume body spray and it smells so good. I have had so many people say, like at the Y or something, what have you got on? Mm, when you walk by, you smell so good. And it does. It's not strong. It's not one of these that's, you know, you can't stand to smell it on you. It's not strong at all. It's just clean, light. Uh, it's not, not really fruity. I don't know what, it's just a clean, um, 
fresh washed, fresh showered smell. And I love this. And it wasn't it wasn't expensive. I mean, it was about like Bath and Body Works. Uh, I think I can't remember exactly how much, but I really like this, and I will I will keep this probably in there on my vanity in the bathroom because I just spray it on when I don't want to use up my nice perfumes or my um, colognes or whatever. I have those for when I dress up or go out somewhere special, but that is kind of like my go-to now to just spray on instead of perfume or cologne when I'm going somewhere. Hey, Marie, how are you? Hope you're doing good. Um, now to kind of go along with some other things, and you may think, what in the world? Um, you know, when you wash your hair, and my hair's long, and it's it tangles real easy, and especially when it's wet. And so you know that when your hair's wet, you shouldn't brush your hair um, because that breaks it. And I use conditioners. I use the leave-in conditioners. I do all that because my hair really tangles bad. It's got color in it and stuff like that. And so on the ends, it really tangles bad. And so I've, you probably have got one of these too. They always say use a comb and the wide tooth comb is the best for wet hair. And I just, when I, I just can't even brush my hair when it's wet anymore. I've got so used to this. It's easy to get through my hair. Um, and it doesn't break my hair or anything like that. And I really love this comb. And I got this at Walgreens. Um, I'm sure Walmart and places like that have. But it's it, it's a wide tooth comb. And um, you just take it and what you do is you just kind of, you know, you don't go from the top, but you kind of work your way down. And it doesn't break your hair. And uh, with my brush, I was having so much breakage and so I started reading about stuff like that and it says to get you a wide tooth comb and since I've been using, I've been using this for a couple of years. Uh, I really like it and it really does help as far as um, when your hair is wet, uh, combing through to, to kind of get all the tangles out. Um, then talking about kind of some makeup stuff, I talked about this one the other day when I was doing my uh, tutorial. Um, it's called Highbrow, and it's by Benefit, and I got this at um, Ulta, and it's the one that I use to clean up my eyeshadow line out here on my eyes, just to kind of clean up that edge. You've heard of people saying, you know, we want to clean up that edge, and that's kind of how I do it, and just blend it out, and that gives that good, clean edge there on the corners of your eyes. I also use it underneath my brow. After I do my eyebrows, it just kind of cleans that up and uh, gives you a sharp edge to your eyebrows and it makes it just look like really clean, like you've just tweezed or waxed or whatever. And I, this is, I, have, I buy three and four of these at a time if they have them because I'm so afraid they're going to discontinue it. And it's just a good matte, needs sharpening, uh, but it's just a good matte color. Uh, it's not shimmery or anything like that, and I love that thing. I even use it sometimes to put on my lips. If my lipstick's a little dark, I'll use that on there. And then, talking about my pencil needing sharpening, nobody can do without a double, double sharpener for the small pencil and the large pencil. I carry this in my makeup bag, and I cannot do without this. I got this at Ulta. And it's the double one. It's for the larger pencils and the smaller pencils, if you can see that. Um, so I carry carry this everywhere I go uh, because with all the eye pencils and lip pencils and things like that that are not automatic and you need to sharpen them, you got to have a pencil sharpener or a, a, I call it a pencil sharpener. Um, they call it a cosmetic sharpener or whatever. But anyway, it's a, it's a sharpener. It's a pencil sharpener. And like I said, I got that at Ulta for like two fifty or something, but a good pencil sharpener. <clears throat> and then along with that is not only do you need a good pencil sharpener, hmm, but you need a good tweezer. And I don't know if you know anything about Tweezer Man or anything like that, but they make some of the best tweezers. When I had my cosmetic store in Mobile, the Merle Norman, I carried Tweezer Man. And uh, they're guaranteed for life. They'll keep them sharpened for you. But, buddy, you can you can get right there, and you can get that hair out, and you don't have to pull and pluck and pull. 
these things are wonderful. Um, I've got probably four or five of them, but um, just tweezer man tweezer, and it's angled on the end. And buddy, these are these get in there and they get get out what you need. So good tweezers are so important. And 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 I'm going to say this too because I'm older. And, uh, you know, sometimes our eyebrows, as we get older, we start getting what they call wild hairs or long hairs. And sometimes my eyebrow will have a long hair or something like that, and you'll have to go in and tweeze it out or whatever. And and this this is a great product. If you've ever tried Tweezer Man, you know what I'm talking about. Um, um, let's see, Bed Bath & Beyond sells these, too. I'm pretty sure I've seen them in there. Um, I'm not sure if Ulta does or not because I've had these for, and they they last forever. I've had these since I had my store years and years ago, and uh, buddy, it still does the trick. Hey Diane, hey Rachel, thank y'all for joining me. Uh, Diane, I hope you got my message today. Um, you had texted me, and Randy's been helping me with my Facebook and getting these Facebook lives over on YouTube, and he's been getting my phone and checking it and seeing if it's downloaded, and he said that he remembers seeing a text come through, and he clicked on it, and then it showed that it had, he read it, but I had not read it, so I picked up my phone today, and I was flipping through it, and uh, my daughter had sent me a text, and I looked, and I thought, well, when did Diane send me a text? So I apologize. I didn't see that, and I'm so sorry. Uh, but I hope you got my text, and we'll, I'd love to get together with you soon. Uh, anyway, another thing is, and I don't have, I have ordered it uh, from Unique, but I haven't gotten it yet. Um, should be here probably next week. But an eye primer or an eyeshadow base. And if you just knew the difference, if you use it, you know what I'm talking about. And if you don't, then you need to. Um, it's and what I've been using and this one was from Merle Norman um, the store that I used to own and it's just a it's just kind of like a clear well it, it kind of goes on like nude it's got a little bit of a color to it but it's an eyeshadow base and you just put it on your eyelid before you uh, put your eyeshadow on and it makes your eyeshadow just adhere to that and it's the pigment comes out more you don't have to apply as much eyeshadow and your eyeshadow will adhere to that uh, base, that primer or eyeshadow base, whatever. Um, but I am so excited to get Unique because I can't wait to try it. They say it's awesome, and uh, I just can't wait to try it, so I'm excited. But a good eyeshadow base is just uh, worth its weight in gold. You don't have to keep applying, and that eyeshadow will really adhere to um, that eyeshadow base. Another thing that, that I can't live without, um, and I don't have them in here, is my sunglasses. And I, I have to have sunglasses because I've had surgery on both my eyes. Uh, I have nodules that grow on my eyes, and my eyes are very light sensitive. And they say that blue eyes, uh, and mine's kind of blue-gray, but they say that blue eyes are a lot more light sensitive to the sun. I don't know if that's true or not. I've heard that. But I've always, even as a little girl, um, I could not go out in the sun unless I had a hat on or sunglasses or something. I mean, I've, I've been in my car going down the road, and when I left the house, it was cloudy or whatever. And I get in my car, and I go down the road, and the sun comes out, and I couldn't find my sunglasses. And I literally had to pull over and stop and get my sunglasses. And so I, I have to have my sunglasses. And then... Going along with that, I don't wear glasses. I've had surgery on my eyes, and my eyesight has improved since I've had the nodules taken off. Um, but um, I do, I'm getting the old age eyesight where I have to have reading glasses, and so that's another thing is I have to have my reading glasses, especially when I'm reading labels and things like that. Um, that's something I just can't do without. Um, and really, that's basically... I mean, I could go through so many more things that I I love. Um, and, of course, my makeup. I love my makeup. And I guess if, if I had to pick anything in makeup that I just couldn't live without, uh, because I do have permanent eyeliner on, it you, before then, it would have been my eye pencil. 
because before I had permanent eyeliner put on, my eyes would just disappear without without any makeup. Uh, I have eyelashes, but they're not real thick. They're long, kind of long, I guess. I don't know if they are or not, but I don't have real thick eyelashes, and my eyes would just disappear without uh, my eye pencil. Now that I have my permanent eyeliner, I'm not as dependent on that eye pencil as I used to be. Um, so I guess makeup, I can do without mascara. Um, I would say probably um, my lip liner. I'd say if I had to choose something, it would be my lip liner because um, I can't wear lipstick without lip liner. I'm not a lip gloss person. Um, I, I just never have been just a lip gloss person. Uh, you have, you've seen people just wear chapstick or just wear lipstick. I've never been one of those. I wished I was. But I my lips kind of fade uh, when I don't have any lipstick on. It's like they're not rosy pink and pretty like some people's lips. So in order to wear lipstick, I have to use a lip liner um, in order to keep my lipstick on and it doesn't run in my lines and wrinkles around my mouth. If I don't use lip liner, my lipstick runs up in my lines around my mouth and it's just not a pretty thing. So I guess if I had to choose something, uh, I would say uh, foundation or lip pencil. I can do without eyeshadow. Uh, I have okay eyebrows. Uh, but I, And now that I have my permanent eyeliner, I'm good with eye pencil. But lipstick, I just look completely dead without lipstick. I look pale. I look sick. I mean, if I don't have my lipstick on, people say, what's wrong with you? Or you're not feeling good or something. I just fade away. So those are some of my things that I just, I said I can't live without. And in my daily routine, I can't because I, these are my go-to things. These are things that I use daily or almost daily. Um, and stuff that just really make a difference for me in my life. I mean, we, some of these things are just, I'm looking at them, and I don't know of anything I'd really want to just get rid of. Um, they're all so important to me in my daily routine. So um, that's just some, some ideas. I hope that some of them have helped you, and uh, maybe some things that I've said or recommended if you're looking for a tooth whitener or you're looking for a tweezer or you're looking for a highlighter or some body spray or lotion, maybe some of those things, maybe you can try them and see what you think. And if you do, I'd love to hear what you what you uh, decide about it or how you feel about it. But as soon as I start getting the rest of my unique in, and as I go along, I will, but I can't get it all at once. Um, but I'm, I'm slowly but surely, I'm getting there. Uh, I've ordered the other two palettes, so I'll have all my eyeshadow palettes. I've ordered some more lipstick and some lip liner. I don't even have a lip liner of Unique, and that's so important. I've got to have a lip liner. I've ordered my eye primer. Can't wait to try that. So I'm getting there. I, it's just going to take me a while. And um, I had another order today from Unique, uh, so I am so excited. I want to thank you for your comments. I want to thank you for your um, uh, little messages that you're sending me that they're helping my, my tutorials are helping and uh, um, the next tutorial that I do um, I'm going to be talking about uh, how to pick the eye shadow color uh, for the your particular eye color how to pick the right color of cheek or blush colors based on your skin tone and like I said these are not commandments these are not rules that can't be broken these are suggestions based on the beauty industry and what they say and kind of some guidelines to go by, especially for people who are new to it. That uh, and, and it doesn't have to be a young person. You wouldn't believe it, the people. I did. Let me just tell you. A couple of weeks ago when I went to the Middle Tennessee Women's Retreat, I did makeovers on some of the ladies. I had several slots, and they signed up, and I did makeover on this lady who was in her 80s. She'd never wore makeup before never wore makeup. She said, I don't have a clue how to put it on. I've never worn makeup. And so when I say you're new to this, I'm not talking if you're young. I'm talking if you've just not ever really used makeup. And it can be overwhelming when you go to purchase makeup because there's so many different lines out there and some good products. So it, it's based on what you want to spend. 
uh, how important it is to you um, to, to splurge or not to splurge and uh, choosing the right colors from foundation to eyeshadows to cheek colors to lipsticks and it can be overwhelming and sometimes I've, I've had people say well I went and I didn't even know what to get so I just went home and I hope that somewhere along the line if you're watching my tutorials that I can help you with that because there's a lot of things in this world I don't know about a lot a lot of things that I can't do but I know makeup I've been in it, I know it, uh, I love it, it's a passion of mine, I love playing in it, always have since a little girl, and um, I'm still learning, even though I, I mean, I watch videos and things all the time about new ways, and, and because I'm getting older, I have to change up my routine, I can't wear my makeup, I've said this many times, and we get stuck in that rut. Of always putting our makeup on the same way using the same colors and we get stuck in that rut because it's easy and um, but sometimes you know as we age we have to change those things and Lord knows I've had to change my makeup routine I can't wear the colors and the things that I used to wear when I was younger and so I hope that and the reason that I'm doing this um, and I'm not here to really be a die-hard salesperson uh, I've always thought about as a matter of fact I did have a YouTube channel I never uh, made it published it or anything uh, beauty tips I was gonna do that a couple of years ago and I just never did it um, and so I thought well if I'm gonna start selling it then I can start applying it showing people how to use it and if you like it and you want to buy it that's great if you don't that's great but maybe you can learn something so I hope that that um, this has taught you something hey Brenda Spivey and Yvonne you are so right any old barn looks better with some paint you're so right <laughs> oh you're so funny you're so pretty Yvonne you've always been so pretty that's the way I feel and I think women who wear makeup feel that way you get used to seeing yourself with it and then when you wash it off it's like whoa you know I know I do and when I thought about coming on here and taking my makeup off for the world to see or whoever's looking I thought man it's time to really get real you know what I'm saying and that took a lot for me because uh, I was one of those for years that didn't want anybody to see me without my makeup and then I got to the point where I really didn't care anymore so you know it is what it is I am who I am and I can remember when I used to work back years ago I had a couple of ladies say I would love to see you without your makeup and I thought why <laughs> why would you subject yourself to that agony I just don't understand but anyway so those are some things that I can't there's a lot of other things that I like and I use but not anything and I really thought about this as I was thinking about putting this together what are things that I really depend on and use on a daily basis and this is it so um, I hope this has helped you and um, yeah Yvonne no way I don't believe that but I hope this has helped you and um, if you have any questions or about anything I've talked about if you want to know anything about it um, just let me know I'll be glad to tell you where I got it again uh, or you can play this video back and watch it uh, but anyway uh, if you do try it and you like it please let me know I'd love to know and um, I'll be doing another video I don't know that I'll do one tomorrow I've got to go to Villa Maria tomorrow to do a um, talk to some women and uh, so I'm I'm gonna be busy tomorrow and then I'm leaving to go out of town this weekend for graduation and I've got to get packed for that and so I'm gonna be busy in the next couple of days I'm not sure when I'll do another tutorial but I'll try to do one before I go because this weekend I'm gonna be busy but I may take you along with me on some of my ventures and things that I'm doing and um, I started to, to record a song uh, for Mother's Day. I wish now that I had, uh, and I may do that later because it's it's called Making Memories, and since yesterday was Mother's Day, I, I did that, to, I sang that a couple of years ago at a mother-daughter banquet, and everybody in there was crying, and uh, it's just such a beautiful song, and if you have a daughter and she's grown, then you you could relate to this it's just such a beautiful song and I may do that for you um, it's, it's just a it makes you think uh, how fleeting time is 
But anyway, I've rambled on enough. I hope you have the rest of your evening free and you can enjoy it however you want to enjoy it. But I hope these tips have helped you. And uh, until I come back and I, like I said, I don't really know. Sometimes it's just a spur of the moment thing. But I hope that you'll join me the next time at Darlene's Table. Thank you and God bless.